another Lawn Fawn video. Today we're introducing our new set, Sewn with Love. It is so adorable, pun intended, and it's got some coordinating dies too. So let's go ahead and check it out. First up, we have this great sewing machine. We have a jar of buttons, one of those little pincushion tomatoes, some scissors, an individual button, and then we have a thimble. We also have a spool of thread, and then you'll see that there's this little dotted line there that can be the thread in the spool. So I'm going to stamp that across on the right one. Then we also have another spool of thread that also already has the thread on it. And then this is a little pin, but I like using it as a tiny little needle too with that thread going through it. And then here's a larger needle which looks cute with that thread going on it too. We have a bunch of smiley faces that can be stamped on any of these images if you would like, and we have them in both a large size and a small size. And then we have these great words. So we have the word so and the word cute, and then all these threads. Now you can stamp these threads and directly connect it to the words just to have a nice one layer thing, but you can also die cut them all and layer them too, and I'll show you that later. So you can see all these awesome threads. I think it would be great to create a background with those too. We have some cute little hearts for decoration, and then all of these sentiments to go along with the so. So we have I love you so much, then we have you're so thoughtful, and then other phrases that can go with that, like you're so amazing, you're so lovely, and we also have thank you so much. Then we have cute as a button, and then you can say so happy, it's your birthday, or just so, and then use the ellipses here with the it's your birthday. We also have sewn with love, which I think is really sweet in case you sewed something for someone, you could make a cute little tag. And of course, we've got that exclamation point to add to the end of all of the phrases. So here you can see I'm using my Copic markers to add some color to these fun images. And what I love about this set is you can get really creative with your color combos because a sewing machine really could be any color. And so I had a lot of fun picking out my color combo for this card. Now here you can see that I am touching my light marker to my dark marker to help me create a medium shade to blend that BG13 and BG11 together. I sometimes have trouble blending these and by touching the marker to the dark marker, you pick up a little bit and create a medium shade. So next I'm gonna work my red into this because this is gonna be turquoise, red, and yellow. I'm so excited about this color combo. And so I'm just blending that out into the middle of all of those pieces to make them look kind of three-dimensional a little bit. And then I'm gonna color in my buttons with that same red so that everything's gonna coordinate on my card. Now we designed this set in honor of Lynette who works here at Lawn Fawn headquarters. Her favorite set ever is Baked with Love and she loved it so much but she's also an amazing seamstress in addition to being the most incredible baker ever. So we had to create Sewn with Love. So Sewn with Love is kind of like the sequel to Baked with Love and I love how cute they can go together too. I'm adding a little light blue to the jar and blending it out with the colorless blender so it kind of looks like glass. And then I'm going to be using the same grays I used for that jar lid, the toner grays, for my scissors so that once again everything's going to coordinate on my card. And I really love coloring in these scissors. They look kind of three-dimensional when you add all the shading. Next, it's time to color this little tomato, and my grandmother always had one of these, so I just love looking at this image because it reminds me of her. So I'll use the same reds, and then here we'll throw in some green for the top of that tomato, and then color in the little pins also to match our buttons and sewing machine. Next, I'll add some color to that cute little thimble, and then we'll start coloring in the spools, and I like using nice light browns for these so they look like a cool old wooden spool. So I'll just color those in there and then I'll color in this other one and adding some red thread once again to coordinate everything all together. Now here are the coordinating dies and I can bend them apart at the tabs or use my wire snips to separate them. I'm going to line them up with my stamped images, hold them in place with some low tack tape, and then I can run them through my die cut machine and pop them out of the dies and have perfectly cut images and I just love seeing them all cut out and ready to put on a card. So here you can see all of the different pieces that are in this set, and then this is how you can use all of those pieces of thread to connect your words. And I think it looks amazing when you start adding all the thread pieces. It really creates this awesome standout sentiment. My last step was to add a little smiley face right there to my sewing machine, and now I can start working on my card. So I'm gonna use a fancy scalloped rectangle, the biggest one, to cut some peacock cardstock. And then I'm gonna use a stitched rectangle to cut some white cardstock, 
and some narwhal card, narwhal card stock too. And then I'm gonna trim that down to be a floor for all of my sewing images, and then trim down a piece of sticky note card stock, once again, to bring all of these colors together. So I'm gonna layer all of those pieces on that fancy scalloped rectangle. And I think that fancy scalloped rectangle is perfect for the sewing set. It's just nice and delicate and kind of reminds me of sewing. And then I'm gonna take all of those little threads and the word sew, I'm gonna run it through my little Xyron adhesive thing because it puts adhesive completely on the back. And since they're so teeny tiny, I thought that would help. So now I've kind of created my own little custom stickers out of these threads and the word so and I'm gonna line them up on the base of the card there and I love how bold it looks die cut with that nice white border on the gray then next I'm gonna stamp the thank you and then the much uh, and I just love that sentiment I think it's so sweet and now I can start to layer all my pieces and I'm gonna use some foam adhesive on them just to give them some nice dimension and I'm gonna layer this cute little sewing scene with all of my coordinated images now that I have that all there, I am going to trim down a cardstock here, and I'm going to make sure that it fits behind the card without covering up any of those beautiful little lacy edges. So now I can see the lacy edges all around, but it still stands up beautifully, and I just love how cute this is. Next up, I am going to be recreating a card by Shari that is just so cute, and I'm using a ton of scraps of cardstock here. I've put my EK Success powder tool all over all of them. That way, when I heat emboss, it's only going to stick to the images that I have stamped in Versamark ink. So I've stamped some buttons, a heart, and the word cute, too. Now that I have those all stamped, I'm going to add some white heat embossing powder to all of these images. So I'm just going to go down and add them onto all of those different colors of cardstock. And once I have that white heat embossing pa paper on, I can now go ahead and heat everything up so it's nice, bright, white, and shiny. Once they've cooled, I'm just going to take a dry cloth and run it across my images here just to get all of that powder off. So you can see how nice and bold it looks now with the powder off of it. And then I can start to use my coordinating dies to cut all of these images out. And that little heart there is from Elfie Selfie, but all of the rest of the pieces are from the Sewn With Love set. So I'm going to die cut all of those buttons there and also die cut the word cute too. And now I've got all these pieces to start working on a card. Now here I have one of the new zigzag rectangle stackables and then also a stitched rectangle. And I'm creating a white card base and layering a bunch of white pieces. And I love how Shari did this. I think it's really striking and just really beautiful to have all these white layers on top of each other. So I'm putting some foam tape on the back of my pieces. And you'll see here I made a little mistake. I shouldn't have put that foam tape on the back yet because I had to stamp my sentiment, but it actually went okay. I stamped it once and it was fine even with the foam tape on there already. So thank goodness for that. So I've layered all my pieces now and I'm adding a little glue to my word cute and I'm going to layer that right on top of the as a button and then I'm going to layer all of these buttons in a nice little grid and I love just the rainbow colors of buttons. I think it's just so happy and fun. And then once I've decided on my grid, I'm going to peel off the little backer on my foam adhesive and lay them all out, making sure it all lines up into this great grid. And this is a nice and simple card but really happy and I just love those rainbow colored buttons. They're so fun. And then here is a look back at the two cards, and I love what a different look you get with both cards, and it really just depends on your color combo and which images you use. Now next up, I wanted to show you some amazing cards from our design team. And this first one by Nicole is so clever. I love that she added Meow You Doing to this scene, and adding that little sweater to the cat is just way too adorable. Elena used Bannerific to be the thread for her sewing machine, and I love that look so much. This card by Elise is so sweet. I love the monochromatic purple colors. It's just awesome. And then I love how Lynette included embroidered thanks with all the sewing images. I think that's such a great idea. Shari's color combo here is beautiful. I love the watercolor wishes paper mixed with the perfectly plaid. And then Yainea's card is so gorgeous. I love the custom pattern paper in the background she created with all of the smaller images. Letitia's ink blending behind the sewing machine is so beautiful. I love how this is really simple but so striking. And then this card by Lizzie is awesome and so cute. And the color combo is too fun. I really love that teal, blue, and red together. And then Audrey's card, that background, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. I just love it so much. And that smiling little pin cushion is just too great. So I cannot wait to see what you guys create with Sewn With Love. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching and have an absolutely amazing day.
拜。